Hey Star Wars fans, thanks for tuning in to another Vintage Collection Action Figure Review. We've got Boba Fett today, Tuscan. Um, obviously from Book of Boba Fett, because it says it right there, you know. <laughs> it's number VC285, I can't believe how close we are to 300, which is incredible. Just reviewed Cad Bane, um, I believe over the last 10 plus years I have reviewed those top ones. Nine Numb as well. Moff J. Jared, still need to, still need to order him and get him... Get him in the collection. He is around the place, so I just gotta sort of jump on it. Now this is a repack of the Boba Fett that came with the most recent version of the Slave One, um, which was boxed, labelled as Boba Fett Starship, but it's it's always going to be the Slave One. Don't care what people say, <laughs> Slave One always will be. Yeah, nice image of uh, Tim Morrison there as Boba Fett. And the figure looks pretty solid too from what I've seen. I've watched a few people's reviews just to get an idea of this thing. It looks quite good. So uh, yeah, let's let's cut into this one and uh, take, a, take a nice, nice good look at him. It's a nice, nice Boba Fett for a change. Not having his uh, same repainted suit of armor all the time. I'm glad Hasbro's getting the money worth out of the out of the mould, which is good. But uh, nice to see something different every now and then. Uh, this is one I'll definitely like to get carded again to put in my Boba Fett display. I do have a little bit of a Fett shrine. I've always said for the longest time, for the years and years and years, I was like, no, nope, Boba Fett's overrated. He got killed by a blind man with a stick how wrong I was, <laughs> but can't deny the truth, that is his awesomeness. So we go, get that rubbish out of the way. All right, accessory wise, he's got his, bring some lights down a little bit closer, there we go. He's got his gaffy stick. He made it himself. It's nice, you get the adjustable string there, so you can wrap it around his, over his chest, behind his back. Here is his, his rifle. Looks quite nice. Fortunately, it's all sort of plastic molded. It's not the strongest, but it looks okay. I know there's other, there's other Tuscan rifles we've had in the past, which would probably Probably better be better than this, so I may end up swapping it out. But you know, for the main, most part, he's probably going to have it strapped across his back anyway. Um, and lastly, his little little blaster pistol, which we've seen with um, a couple of the more recent variations of Boba Fett from his appearance in Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett, of course. All right, let's take a look at the figure. So look, like the soft goods are here. I think that looks pretty good. It's nice that they've done it in black. Um, that was probably kind of my only sort of thing that sort of let me down with the Black Series one was it was a sort of a dark brown. Um, I'm glad they've gone with black. It's a little bit more accurate. Let's have a look at the card again. I mean, it's hard to say because it's, you know, it's lit in the sun. It always appeared black to me. Obviously, it's a bit dirty and dusty. So okay, I guess either way, it doesn't really doesn't really matter too much, but it looks good. Hood sits up. Yeah, it's always hard to get hoods of this scale to sort of sit on top of the head and sit nicely. This is just no weight in the fabric whatsoever to get it to sit. And you know, to to add seams and stuff into it and hem it and put wires through, that's it's probably not a cost-effective uh, thing for the factories to do. But my, my favourite trick is putting a little dot of blue tack underneath on, on the head and just sort of just holding it down. You can even sort of do some other stuff with it if you like. I've seen people use like starch. So when it dries, when it dries into the fabric, it sort of allows that sort of flex or you can get it to sit. The head sculpt. That looks pretty good. Got the 
sort of scars that are painted on. Probably could have gotten away with looking a little bit paler, you know, putting a little bit of that sort of white wash over the top of it, just to make him look a little bit more scarred and and nasty looking. But overall, really good likeness. I assume it's the same head we've used in the recent recent couple of Boba Fetts and probably the uh, Arc Trooper Jesse being the one with the uh, with the bald head. But I think it looks pretty good. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take off these this robe so we can get a look at the rest of the figure underneath. There's bound to be some some cool details underneath, if I can. There we go. It's like you're having a stretch straight out of bed. So I kind of like this look. I think that looks quite cool like that. Without the robe on. Looks kind of tough. I like the look of that. Let's get you some bandolier and holster. That's that's sculpted into the uh, chest piece there. And I'm glad they've changed the uh, fabric for this one. The one that came with the Morak Boba Fett. Just the the fabric that they used there was just terrible. Just sort of fraying from the get go. This is much better. So he appears to be reusing the same legs as that Boba Fett, which is fine. Maybe a little bit different, just because he doesn't have the knee darts. I like it. I think that looks pretty sweet. Honestly, I reckon it looks good. While we've got the holster exposed, I'm going to slip that on in there. good good arm articulation I like the little sort of soft cut there they've done just to allow a little bit of extra movement there that looks good um, yeah articulation wise there's a ball joint in the head and that just sort of pops out uh, <laughs> doesn't appear to be any neck articulation but that's okay you know, ball hinge in the shoulders in the elbows and the wrists Torso joint there, ball joint in the hips, swivel with the thighs, a nice joint here in the knees, and hinges in the ankles as well. So you get those nice sort of rocker joints happening there, which is quite good. I don't know, I like it. I think this is a good fit. This is a nice one. Like I said, just, just something a little different. I'm going to try and get this robe back on a little bit easier than it was getting it off much better Try and slip that over the back there. I'm sure that's the wrong way, but <laughs> for the purposes of doing this review, just wanted to put it up there. And then we'll do the same with this. There we go, that was it. There is Boba Fett. That looks pretty solid. Yeah, I dig it. Oh, it looks nice. That's a, that's a good figure. Really happy with that one. Just need a Cobb Vanth now, Hasbro. Come on, let's do it. Stop playing around. Give us, give us the Vanth.
But yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate your time. Any feedback is always greatly appreciated. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. I would really appreciate it. It's, uh, it does mean a lot to me. And I'll be back with some more very, very soon. So stay tuned. And we'll see you on the next one. Until then, may the force be with you, always.